I've been driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be all right, gonna be all right. Got no money, but I'll work it out. Welcome back, guys, to Stop for Garage. Today's detail is of an Acura MDX that is completely kid trashed. And you guys can tell from these before shots how filthy this car is. But we're gonna go ahead and deep clean this thing. We're gonna make it look like brand new by the end of this video. So if you guys are new, like these sort of videos, subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a huge thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing we have to do is get everything out of the vehicle. The good news is the owners of this car got out a lot of the big stuff including the car seats, but a lot of the little stuff the vacuum can't pick up is kind of what I'm picking up at this point, and also getting the floor mats out of the car. Now, even though I plan to pull out the front seats of this car, I'm gonna vacuum as much up as possible. This includes everything on top of the seats, everything under the seats I can reach, anything on the floor. By doing so, it just allows you to get a lot of the big stuff out of the way. So when you do remove the seats, it's a smaller job, and then you can get right into extraction. And also by getting the vacuum out of the way, it allows you to make sure that you're not grinding in any other stuff that's on the floor into the carpet further and making your job harder. Now one thing that has driven me nuts over the years is newer Hondas have special tools for releasing seatbelt buckles. They have them all attached to the seats which makes it sometimes difficult to remove. So this car is no exception. You'll see in this video as I remove the passenger seat that I just leave the seatbelt attached and pull the seat out of the car anyways to make my life easier. All right, so right here is a perfect example of what Honda does. I don't know why, but I detailed a Ridgeline that did this. This bolts way down here, so you'd almost have to take off the, all the trim pieces on the seats. They give you some sort of keyholes to unclip this, but I don't know why they only do this on the passenger side and not the driver's side, but for right now, this is how I'm gonna have to do this. Regardless, it works. But anyways, here is the goodies that I found underneath here.
Now one thing that I've added to my garage setup is having two of those VacMaster Beast vacuums that I use. Just because sometimes with these details it's just easier to have one on each side of the vehicle. So that way you're not carrying cords back and forth and tripping over things and it just, it helps me with time and speeding up my detail but for most people that's not necessary. Now, if you're detailing your own car and you have something that's spilled or something that's underneath these plastic panels that cover the bolts on the floor, all of these manufacturers, all of the cars, they all snap together pretty quickly because they have to from an assembly standpoint. But if you need to get underneath one, they typically just pry up on one side and you slowly work your way around to unclip them from the rest of the plastic and they pop out pretty easily if you're careful. Now for these door panels, I'm just using my all-purpose cleaner and detailing brush to get into all the edges and cracks where all this food and liquid has accumulated. And for the speaker grill, I'm using my brush to kind of poke at it to get in between the different speaker grill holes. And then I'm using my vacuum to actually suck any of the fluid out of that area. And I had to do this process two times for this specific grill, but just using a vacuum to clean up any excess fluid around any part of the car for that matter when you're cleaning it helps a lot.
Now, all of you that have been watching my videos for a while know that I carry my own set of detailing brushes on foxclean.com, but I'm excited to finally say that I have microfiber towels available along with the drying towels that I've used in my videos. So if you guys haven't checked them out already, go head on over there now, pick up a set. You guys will not be disappointed with how soft these towels are and how much water they absorb. And they're great for the inside and the outside of your car. And thanks again for all of the support and make sure you guys go check those out. Now that we've got all of the panels cleaned on the inside of the car, we're gonna to move to cleaning the seats, which honestly the rear seats were the dirtiest portion of the vehicle. So I'm gonna be using my Chemical Guys leather cleaner and conditioner to clean these guys up and my detailing brush.
Now, when I first started detailing this car, the first thing I noticed was that there was WeatherTech floor mats on the ground, which if you don't already have any sort of plastic or rubber floor mat in the car and you have kids, it's definitely a worthwhile investment to consider just because of the fact that it makes cleaning so much quicker. You can literally just pressure wash them down, clean them with a little bit of soap and throw them back in without having to worry about extraction or staining the carpet. They're definitely something to consider, especially if you have kids or if you live in the north and you have to worry about salt, picking up an extra set for the winter time is also a good idea. Even though there was WeatherTech floor mats, there is still a lot of the carpet that got stained. So we're gonna go ahead and extract all the carpets. And for that, I mix up my powdered solution in my extractor with some hot water. And then I have my sprayer that has the pre-rinse that is the actual shampoo of the carpet. And I spray that onto the carpet, agitate with my drill brush, and then use my extractor to extract all of that dirty water and fluid from the carpet.
And now that the extraction's done, this is the pour from the extractor. And to be honest, it's kind of shocking how much was on the floor, even though these plastic floor mats are down. That's why when you have black carpets, they could sometimes be misleading on how much dirt's there. But here are the before and after shots, and honestly, the car turned out incredible. I was really happy with how clean the rear seats got. I actually am uploading videos on Wednesdays now, as well as on Saturdays every week. But I want you guys to leave a comment below on what type of specific videos do you guys want me to do, whether it's cleaning up curb rash, painting a car, you know, anything that you guys can think of that would help you guys elevate your detailing game let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys on wednesday bye guys